Hello and welcome back to Metagrove Farm. So today we need to have a look at getting this straw cleared up around the back here. We've got swaths everywhere on here at the moment. So I think we are going to get a baler for this, as opposed to the wagon. So we need to make our way up the shop and choose our own baler. So let's face it, this tractor isn't going to handle any of the um, big square balers on here, unfortunately. We've got to take our chances with the round ones. We'll make our way up there to start with. We'll get in there with our machinery purchases slowly. Be a lot going to the shop at the moment to get things. We also need a bucket to clear up around the sheep with. So a field on the left which needs drilling. If do need cultivating, we'll look at a cultivator drill, I think, in this case. As long as we can find enough ways to earn money to keep paying for things. Obviously selling some straw bales is going to help with that one. So we won't actually buy a bale trailer, we will lease the bale collector for this I believe. A bit easier. Keep hold of that for some hay bales as well. How many bales we have would be cheaper to do that than will be to actually buy a trailer which we'll hardly ever use. may reconsider that one as we've reconsidered the forage wagon side of things. So let's have a look in here and see what we've got in the way of balers. Put a couple of modded ones in. It's got the in-game roll belt at 49,000. That one's well out of the question. She won't need silage anyway. That collector I can never get on with. So that will also using that to clear the bales up. And then we've just got these two balers. We've got the Laylee, which is 58,500. Which, whilst nice, is going to deplete us of the best part of our finances. Or, we've got the Crone. Now in this case, I think the Crone's going to be better value for money, it's the cheapest baler in there. A choice of wide tires or standard tires for an extra thousand pounds, so in this case we'll go with the standard as much as I'd like the wide ones on it. Just need to save money where we can, but we will actually buy the baler. Something we'll be using quite a bit going forwards. And bucket wise, we need to have a look in the front loader attachments. I should have put a mod in here. Yeah, this one. So we've got this bucket here. Might as well colour code it to the loader. It's actually 50 pounds. I'm not going to argue over that. And we'll have that bucket. So the sheep will make a mess. So that's important we have that. First things first, let's get the bucket on. At least with FS19 we know the colours will match. Just have to push it around a bit so we can actually get behind it. Let's go out cab, see why that won't actually get it. There we go. It's always good when it does that trick. It's quite a big bucket this one. Unfortunately there's no uh, loader connector there to the hydraulics. I just know it's being around this side. So a large bucket and we've got the baler. Let's make our way back to the yard with it. Go 
get that straw bailed up. See how far we can get the bales to roll. Shouldn't take too long to bale that field. This is a nice bale we've got on here that has got some added features to it. It's a good reason to pick it. Actually empty any bales out, but once they get to 2,000 litres, if we've got a half bale left. Just drop the bucket in the yard somewhere out of the way. Really want the bucket on there for bailing with. So after all, we may need the bale spike at some point. Can't see us getting too many bales off there. You never know. Put the bucket down there. Put the loader up there out of the way. Lot cleared up. So get that bale of fired up. Shouldn't take too long to wrap these up. Don't have to let any out going up this hill, I think we'll be alright. And I'll remember to put the um, auto unload mod in for the bailers. So I'll probably going to have to empty the bailer going down there, which could be was interesting. Now I forgot to put the auto unload mod in. Have a look at that. That stays there, it'll be a miracle. If there's a wall down the bottom there to stop it. If anything we miss in the corner shortly. <coughs> now. So use the auto unload mod of have to remember to keep a more of an eye on it. Just take this end ahead and off rather than keep going round and round. No. If we send a bit more of a chance not to bail out bail on the ends, then.
be a few more bars than I think it on there. It's a bit of a bad thing. description. Crossways will be well by right then. Shouldn't lose too many bales that way. Don't want. Now. I think we'll get too many, but um, every little helps. Don't know what they're worth at the moment. Well, look at the US. So sort of five, six hundred pound a barrel, some few thousand pound extra they wouldn't have had if we chopped them. Certainly making enough noise doing that. They sound a little mod pack, these ones. Not quite sure what the hell we've done to scatter the straw about like that. Sometimes it's best not to know what those things have been up to on there. Just kind of accept the helpers are going to make a mess somehow and somewhere. Get eight barrels, that'll be worthwhile. Probably 
those couple of spits in here, so I'll turn around that way. Well, she'd be quite happy in there at the moment. do the high, I'll have to remember to put the auto unload mod in for this, makes it a bit easier. I guess we're going to be about nine bales on there. The auto collect trailer holds eight of them. If that's the one we go for, we shall see. So I might change my mind again, yet again, order ordering one and load them up by hand. Definitely got eight bales. Question is, can we get enough to empty the bale out? Hopefully so. Get all these little bits up this end as well. Sort of done the best to scout the straw about. It's going to be close. I don't think we're quite going to get enough in there. Which means we're going to end up with a odd bale for next time. Quick look around and see if there's any misfits anywhere on here. See one in that corner. Well, that's going to make a lot of difference to us. So that's where we'll have to leave that one. Means we're going to end up with a bit of a straw bale when we start the hay field, unfortunately. So I'll have to park this back in one of our sheds for now. This bale has horrendous things to reverse. Okay, it's good fit in that one over there. Be nice if it would. We shall see. Doing that little bay there, it'll be perfect. So it's a bit better position to back that in there. Felt fit there. Sure, well, I see it, but does it something? So I'm gonna go in there. Let's go in the other barn there then. So I just need to clean the sheep up a bit then. Before we do anything else.
We just need to get these cleared up outside their feed pen again. Messy bunch. This one bounces nicely on the ground anyway. Just sheep all cleared up. Leave the bucket down there. Let's have our way there. And that's where we'll leave it for this video. So I'll say thanks for watching this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and join me again next time when we have a look at probably clearing these bales up. So thanks for watching and goodbye for now.